is the Minister, uh, Madam State Secretary, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me first say that um, I'm very honored to be invited to speak here today. I think, um, well, first of all, I, I think that um, the name of the conference, Serbia Goes Green, is, uh, is a very nice one. And I think that today, on Earth Day, it's important and we have all an obligation to remind ourselves that um, we all need to make efforts to make our Earth uh, even more green in the future. I was very encouraged to listen to you, Mr. Minister, uh, and to hear about the emphasis that uh, Serbia is placing on uh, renewable energy resources and developing a green economy. Uh, in my country, we have um, a lot of experience in this field. We have a lot of know-how. And uh, you would find a very willing partner in Sweden. And you would also find uh, companies with a lot of know-how that would like to work with uh, uh, organizations and companies here in Serbia. And in this context, um, uh, Sweden has been an active partner of Serbia in the environmental sector for close uh, to 15 years. And with the Swedish cooperation strategy for the period 2014 up until 2020, my country has confirmed its commitment for sustainable and long-term support to Serbia. The environmental cooperation between Serbia and Sweden has, during the last um, years, focused on solid waste management, water resources, and chemicals. And these areas are also in focus in our uh, four new agreements being signed shortly with Serbia. The Swedish grant funding for the four agreements amount to 9.5 million euros. And I had um, the opportunity only a little bit more than a week ago to discuss the outline of um, these projects with uh, Prime Minister Vucic. Applying EU standards in uh, Chapter 27 is probably one of the most demanding tasks on Serbia's road to accession. Notably, no, not only uh, is uh, approxim approximately uh, a third of the EU related to the environment, uh, but accession also involves planning and implementation of large investments of approximately 7 billion euros over a 20-year period. Because of this, Sweden is, uh, uh, Sweden's overall goal has been to facilitate Serbia's EU accession, and our support strives as much as possible to um, complement the EPA support and to provide a flexible funding arrangement appropriate to the changing needs, conditions and uh, capacities of our Serbian partners. Sweden has provided substantial support to Serbia's preparations for negotiations and um, we will continue to do so over the coming years, which will hopefully uh, take Serbia to the stage where negotiations are finalized and uh, the chapter 27 is closed. With relatively little staff resources, Serbia has done very well in the screening meetings and we expect uh, a screening report without benchmarks later this year. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an achievement by Serbia because um, the environment, environmental chapter is one of the really heavyweight ones and um, to start up the negotiations um, or the negotiations proper without uh, benchmarks is, is really very important. And as I said, an achievement by, by Serbia. Implementation of Chapter 27 is a long-term process and usually includes uh, transition periods given for the heavy investment directives. In our dialogue with the government and over the last years, a recurrent Swedish topic for, for discussion has been the overall financing of Chapter 27. Many accession countries have had problems of prioritizing the financial perspective of uh, Chapter 27 
due to the more immediate political challenges. Not acting early on this issue can, however, become a problem, like in the case of Montenegro, uh, which received a negative screening report due to, among other things, the lack of a national investment plan. Other examples are Romania and Bulgaria, which have um, lost large funding opportunities due to the lack of uh, prepared investment projects. It is therefore very positive that Serbia's parliament in February decided to establish a green fund from 2017, which will provide important co-financing for environmental projects. Sweden has, in uh, this context, supported the development of an environmental financing uh, direction for Serbia and uh, provided international experiences and models for how a green fund can be constructed and work eff uh, eff effectively. Sweden has also supported the preparation and implementation of a number of environmental infrastructure projects within solid waste and waste um, uh, water. One example is the municipality of Arilje, which is uh, turning into a role model for future recycling projects in Serbia. Source um, separation and household waste is a cornerstone of modern waste manage management within the EU uh, and can, if successful, considerably reduce overall transportation costs and reduce the amount of waste which, which goes to landfilling. The cost of uh, constructing regional landfills in accordance with the European standards is very high and it is therefore important that the landfill is not filled up too quickly. In Sweden, uh, approximately 80% of household uh, plastics, metal, glass and paper are today recycled and this drastically reduces the amount of waste being landfilled. The recycling industry also employs a substantial amount of people. The solid uh, waste projects supported in Arilje, Chachak, Panchevo and other municipalities are important for the Ministry's work with the planning and implementation of national priority projects. At least uh, another 15 landfills are required to meet Serbia's waste management strategy and standards for EU accession. The Ministry's experience in supporting projects uh, implementation will enable it to guide other municipalities' work in the future. With the new agreements, Sweden will be able to assist Serbia on the preparation of even bigger projects like those in Nish, Novi Sad and Kragujevac. Considering the big challenges awaiting Serbia over the coming years, Sweden has, in its dialogue with the government, supported the idea of establishing a separate uh, Ministry of the Environment. And this is also something I incidentally suggested to the Prime Minister when I met him recently. This is generally considered to have been the most successful approach to adv advancing the environmental issues in other parts of Europe. And we would like also our friends here in Serbia to consider that possibility. With this, I thank you and uh, wish you a successful conference and constructive discussions. Thank you very much.